in Allah Almighty's name, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All the praises are the right of that entity who is the creator of this immense universe. And countless droods and salams in the Holy Highness of Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The topic today is paragraph writing, means how to write a paragraph. First of all, I would like to request to all of you who haven't yet subscribed my channel, please, first of all, subscribe my channel and click on the uppermost bell icon. What is a paragraph? or the definition of a paragraph. A paragraph is a number of sentences grouped together and relating to one topic or a group of related sentences that develop a single point. It means it is about the single topic that deals with that single point. Principles of a paragraph writing. There are three principles of paragraph writing. Number one, unity. Number two, order. And number three, variety. Number one, unity. Unity means each sentence should deal with one thought or it must deal with one topic. Number two, order. Order means the logical sequence of thought or development of subject or events in their order of occurrence. It means each and every event must be kept in the order in which it is occurred. Or if the examples are given, if the events are given to prove the claim, to explain the topic, to explain the theme or subject of the paragraph, all of those examples, facts and figures must be kept in the sequence, not only sequence, but in a logical sequence. Number three, or the third principle is variety. Variety means the paragraph of a composition should be of different lengths parts of paragraph there are three parts of a paragraph number one topic sentence number two supporting details and number three concluding sentence number one topic sentence the sentence that introduces the topic theme or subject of the paragraph it is generally the first sentence. So it means the topic sentence introduces the main topic or subject or theme of the paragraph. Number two or the second part is supporting details. It can also be called supporting material. Here the arguments, examples, Facts and figures are given to prove the claim made in the topic sentence. Number three, concluding sentence. The last sentence that brings the whole paragraph on the topic under discussion. So in, it concludes the whole of the discussion in the very last sentence. So such sentence is called concluding sentence. 
Here I would like to read out a paragraph, a sample paragraph. The paragraph starts from hence. Hence it is that it is almost a definition of a gentleman to say he is one who never inflicts pain. This description is both refined and as far as it goes, accurate. It is mainly occupied in merely removing the obstacles which hinder the free and unembarrassed action of those about him. And he concurs with their movements rather than takes the initiative himself. His benefits may be considered as a parallel to what are called comforts, to conveniences in arrangements of a personal nature, like an easy chair or a good fire, which do their part in dispelling cold and fatigue. Though nature provides both means of rest and animals, animal heat without them. This is a paragraph in which the topic sentence is one point in the character of a gentleman which clearly state, stated in the first that is the topic sentence. The topic sentence in the very first line starts from here. He is one who never inflicts pain. This is the topic sentence. The rest of the paragraph is simply a development and illustration of the topical sentence. The second part that concludes, that comprises the supportive details. The examples or the material have, has been put here to support the claim that has been made in the very first sentence. And the concluding sentence drives home the statement of the subject with its similes of the easy chair and the good fire. The second sample sentence is the road is one of the great fundamental institutions of mankind. Not only is the road one of the great human institutions because it is fundamental to social existence, but also because its varied effects appear in every department of the state. It is the road which determines the sites of many cities and the growth and nourishment of all. It is the road which controls the development of strategies and fixes the sites of battles. It is the road that gives its framework to all the economic development. It is the road which is the channel of all trade. And what is more important of all the ideas? In its most humble function, it is a necessary guide without which progress from place to place would be a ceaseless experiment. It is a sustenance without which organized society would be impossible. Thus the road moves and controls all history. Dear viewers, in this paragraph, the first sentence states the subject. It is the topic sentence. The body of the paragraph consists of examples which prove the statement in the first sentence. The final sentence sums up or concludes the whole discussion. The third 
sample paragraph is about the cat. There is some truth in the common saying that while dogs become attached to persons, cats are generally attached to places. A dog will follow his master anywhere, but a cat keeps to the house it is used to. And even when the house changes hand, the cat will remain there so long as it is kindly treated by the new owners. A cat does not seem to be capable of the personal devotion often shown by a dog. It thinks most of its own comfort and its love is only covered love. Dear viewers, notice the construction of this paragraph. It begins with the topical sentence, which clearly states the subject. The following sentence explains the statement by expanding it. And the last sentence, by giving a reason for the attachment of a cat to a particular house forms a fitting conclusion. The paragraph is therefore a unity, treating of one characteristic of cat character, and it follows an orderly plane. So, there, has, there have been given three sample paragraphs. So, I would like, now I would like to put uh, and list some of the paragraphs which you people would write upon. Number one, a rainy day. Number two, a walk. Number three, the cow. Number four, trees. Number five, politeness. Number six, anger. Number seven, a picnic. Number eight, a fire. Number nine, a flood. Number ten, some pet animal. Eleven, rivers. Twelve, cricket. Thirteen, contentment. Fourteen, gymnastics. Fifteen, gratitude. 16. A holiday. 17. The elephant. 18. The cobra. The t 19. The tailor. 20. The astronaut. 21. Revenge. 22. Thrift. 23 stars 24 the cow 25 robots 26 today's weather 27 your hobby 28 humidity 29 the mango 30 examinations So, at the end, I have put 30 sample paragraphs or the 30 topics. All of you are most welcome to write on any of the given topics and send me back for checking. Thank you everybody for watching this video. So keep watching and sharing this channel.